Okay, um, so this is um, a video recording of all the chat and emails that we sent to Juka just to show um, that he's lying with, with this post from his blog. Okay. This is um, the chat history that we have with Juka. Okay. So we started working with him since um, last week of uh, May. So um, our contract includes um, requires him to pay every two weeks. Okay, so this is um, the introductory um, chat that we had. Um, our account manager was the one who talked to him. So Okay, so here are just some chats. Okay, so I was just checking around um, June 5. I, I, I checked him and asked about our staff's performance for his projects. This is what he said. Okay. She said, um, our designer has been really good. So our partners are very impressed and very pleased with you guys. Okay, I told him that if he ever had any problems, he could send me an email. Okay, so just some other chats. Some other chats. Okay, I'm looking for the time when we um, filed up for the payment. Okay. Okay, here it is. Um, we sent him an email regarding um, the pay the first invoice that we sent. This is what he said. Okay. Uh, he um, asked about our um, bank account. Okay. Uh, this is um, June 17 when he um, confirmed our bank account. Okay, on June 21, we. Um, I follow up, followed up for the payment again and I told him to that we will put the projects on hold since he hasn't paid yet. Okay, he asked why, I explained. And he said the invoice was late, banking details were incorrect. I said, I told him that banking details are not incorrect and the invoice was sent in advance. So whichever bank that he wants to send to Philippines or the US, it's okay. Then he said, okay, um, it has been approved and transfer will be tomorrow. Okay, today is um, August 23, okay? We haven't received a single cent from him. Okay, he begged that we, we don't put things on hold. Okay. okay. Then he sent me another message that the transfer has been authorized. Okay. Trust account has been established for Optimine. Six months. There were six months payments to cover designer and programmer, etc. Which is kind of odd. So, still we, we didn't put the projects on hold since we took his word for it. Um, okay. So, June 23, 
um, he said the transfer went through that day in the morning. Okay, then told him that if ever there's nothing that has been received yet, then he will have we will have to really put the projects on hold already. Then I told him that um, he can't use the files on his server. Okay. He insisted that all work needs to be in his servers. Okay, then he had some other alibis again. Okay, so June 28th, we asked, um, since he said on June 23 that we would have, we will receive it in 20, 24 to 48 hours, but we haven't received anything yet. So what we did was we asked our programmers to remove all the files that we did for them. Okay, then he, this is what he said. So we took the sites down, so this is what he said. So now he has another alibi that to, to not send the payment, which he said was sent already on June 23, if you look, if you look here. Um, here, transfer went through today, this morning. Okay. Anyway, uh, this goes on and on. So I told him that the sites need, uh, he said that the sites need to be up. You can hold the workload updates, but the sites need to be up. Then I said that there's nothing I can do. So he, um, like, uh, he threatened that the, it, the partnership will not work. But during that time, we already know that he's like, um, you know, lying. There's really no directors or and everything. So I told him that um, it it would it would not work. We feel that the partnership will not work, so we don't want to push through for it. That he said that I'm questioning his integrity. Um, if you, I, I will show you later um, an email that we got from another person that he he did the same thing with. Okay, so everything until um, June twenty nine. He said that um, the 